More with more on a developing story out of Presque Isle, where a man called 911 early this morning saying he had been shot and was dying. The call came from a home on Northern Road near the airport. Seven Presque Isle, I'm in the basement, one male shot two times. Looks like one to the chest. He does have a vest on. It went through the side, got one bullet hole through his arm. Police have been looking for whomever shot the man since that first call came in. News said her means Jackie Mundry is in the neighborhood in Presque Isle where there has been some activity within the past hour, right, Jackie? Yeah, Cindy, just about an hour ago, the Maine State Police Major Crimes Unit came in, and I don't know if you can see behind me, I'm pretty far back, but they actually just took out, um, they've been taking items out of the home on here on Northern Road. Last thing they took out was this big cage that looked like it belonged to like a lizard or something like that. Um, so, you know, this investigation is still very much ongoing, and we're not quite sure exactly what they're doing or what they're finding, because the gunman, as we said, is still at large right now. Um, this morning shooting comes less than a month after a double homicide, about 20 minutes away from here in Castle. Hill. The community is on high alert and many people in town say the county isn't the same as it used to be. I've lived here all my life and we used to say we lock our car doors once a year and that's to keep people from putting zucchini in our cars. But uh, lately we lock our doors, you know, just to be, you know, safe. Police say they believe that this is an isolated incident, but as I said, this investigation is still very much ongoing and they're investigating here at the home behind me, so we will keep you updated with what's to come. But the person that was shot was transported to a local hospital. We don't know his identity or his condition at this time. Pat and Cindy. All right, thank you so much, Jackie.